ever feel like you're running on a hamster wheel? Like you're constantly going, but not really getting anywhere? Totally. The modern world, right? right. It's like we're bombarded with information, deadlines, and notifications from the moment we open our eyes to the minute we close them. Exactly. And it's exhausting. And let's be honest, it can leave us feeling kind of burnt out and disconnected. Definitely. But what if I told you there's a way to find a sense of calm and power, even amidst all that chaos? Okay. I'm intrigued. Tell me more. Well, today we're diving into the world of Tai Chi meditation to explore how it can help us navigate the challenges of modern life and come out feeling more balanced, focused, and empowered. Tai Chi. Interesting. I've heard of it, but to be honest, I don't really know much about it. Yeah, a lot of people associate Tai Chi with those slow, graceful movements you might see people practicing in the park. And while that's definitely part of it, Tai Chi is much more than just gentle exercise. It's often referred to as a moving meditation. And it's been practiced for centuries as a way to cultivate both physical and mental well-being. Moving meditation, that's a new one on me. I always thought meditation involved sitting still, like trying to empty your mind. Which, by the way, I'm terrible at. I hear you. Sitting still isn't for everyone. And that's what's so cool about Tai Chi. It offers a different approach to meditation. One that recognizes the mind-body connection and harnesses the power of movement to bring about a sense of peace and clarity. Okay, I'm starting to get it. So instead of fighting against our thoughts and trying to force ourselves to be still, Tai Chi encourages us to find stillness within movement. Exactly. It's about cultivating awareness of our bodies, our breath, and our surroundings as we move through these flowing sequences of movements. It's like a moving meditation that calms the mind while also energizing the body. I like the sound of that. I can definitely use a little more calm and energy in my life. But what's the magic behind these movements? How does Tai Chi actually work? Well, a big part of it has to do with this concept of qi. Qi? Yeah. It's pronounced qi, and it's often translated as life force or vital energy. In traditional Chinese medicine, qi is believed to flow through our bodies along specific pathways called meridians. So like our blood vessels, but for energy. Exactly. And just like blocked blood vessels can cause physical problems, blocked or stagnant, qi is thought to lead to imbalances in our physical, mental, and emotional states. Okay, that makes sense. So how does Tai Chi come into play here? The slow, deliberate movements of Tai Chi are designed to open up those energy pathways and get qi flowing smoothly throughout our bodies. As qi flows more freely, it brings about a sense of balance and harmony within us. Interesting. So it's not just about the physical movements themselves, it's about the impact those movements have on our internal energy flow. It's fascinating how ancient practices like this recognize the connection between our physical and energetic bodies long before modern science caught up. Right. It's pretty amazing. And the cool thing is that people who practice Tai Chi regularly report a wide range of benefits, both physical and mental. In our research, we even came across a story about a high school student named Mia who found that Tai Chi helped her manage stress and improve her focus. Really? Tell me more about Mia. Well, according to the article, Mia was feeling overwhelmed with schoolwork and extracurricular activities. She was having trouble concentrating, her sleep was suffering, and she's just generally feeling stressed out. Sounds familiar. I remember those days. High school can be brutal. Right. So Mia's mom suggested she try Tai Chi. She had started practicing it a few months earlier and had found it incredibly helpful in managing her own stress levels. That's cool. Moms always know best, right? Hmm. So did Mia like it? She was hesitant at first, but she decided to give it a shot. She started attending a weekly Tai Chi class at a local community center, and within a few weeks, she started to notice a difference. She felt calmer and more centered, she was sleeping better, and she was even finding it easier to concentrate in class and get her homework done. That's awesome. So the Tai Chi was like a moving meditation that helped her find a sense of peace and focus amidst the chaos of high school. Exactly. And it shows how the benefits of Tai Chi can be felt by people of all ages and walks of life. It's not just for older adults or people looking for a gentle form of exercise. It can be a powerful tool for anyone looking to improve their mental and physical well-being. It's incredible how moving slowly and mindfully can have such a profound impact on our overall well-being. It's like we're so accustomed to rushing through life that we've forgotten the power of slowing down and tuning into our bodies. Absolutely. And Tai Chi reminds us that we don't always have to push harder or do more to feel better. Sometimes it's about slowing down, finding stillness within, and allowing ourselves to simply be. So true. So we've talked about the mental benefits of Tai Chi, reduced stress, improved focus, and all that good stuff. 
But what about the physical benefits? You mentioned earlier that it's more than just gentle exercise. Right. While it may not be as physically demanding as, say, running or weightlifting, Tai Chi offers a unique combination of strength, flexibility, and balance training. The slow, controlled movements help improve your range of motion, strengthen your core muscles, and enhance your stability. That makes sense. And I bet it's good for balance too, right? Those graceful flowing movements seem like they'd require a lot of coordination. You're exactly right. Tai Chi is excellent for improving balance and coordination, which is especially important as we age. It can help reduce the risk of falls and improve overall stability. That's fantastic. So whether you're a stressed out student like Mia or just someone looking to improve their physical and mental well-being, it seems like Tai Chi has something to offer. It really does. It's a practice that can meet you wherever you're at and help you cultivate greater peace, strength, and presence in your life. And the best part is that it's a low impact activity that can be adapted to suit people of all ages and fitness levels. I love that it's accessible to pretty much everyone. You don't need any fancy equipment or prior experience. You can just show up and start moving. Exactly. And who knows, you might just discover that moving slowly and mindfully is the key to unlocking a whole new level of well-being. So for our listeners who might be feeling inspired to try Tai Chi, where's a good place to start? Well, that's a great question. There are usually Tai Chi classes offered at community centers, gyms, and even some parks. There are also plenty of online resources available, including instructional videos and guided meditations. A quick Google search for Tai Chi classes near me should give you some good options to explore. Perfect. And if you're new to Tai Chi, don't be afraid to start slowly and go at your own pace. There's no need to push yourself too hard. Just listen to your body and enjoy the journey. Absolutely. And you know, all this talk about Tai Chi and finding stillness within movement has really got me thinking. What if we approached our everyday activities with the same sense of mindfulness and intention that we bring to a Tai Chi practice? I love that. It's like a subtle shift in perspective that can make a world of difference. What would it look like for our listeners to move through their day with a little more presence? How would their lives be transformed if they approached even the most mundane tasks with intention and awareness? Such great questions to ponder. And with that, we'll leave you to contemplate the possibilities. 